Tracking up three deep. Down on the inside as the pace came off, Settlers Creek Phantom Choice is tracking up near the middle and having to steady off heels. Outside of him there with the red cap is Mambo Kadzi. So cute going up near the rails at the 450, a length and a half, Mo at me, and then deep out Lur Patron, followed further back by Heavy Set at the top of the home straight, Vakiris well back, and then Bourbon Dynasty and begged to differ Stone Motherless. 300 left to go, an ominous warning. Challenged now by Capanda Phantom Choice, Mambo Kadzi in a run over on the inside for Settlers Creek. Then Lur Patron further back. Settlers Creek with 100 to go, spearing up along the fence. On the cutaway, Settlers Creek dashes away from them in the final part. And Settlers Creek pulled away to win it by two and a half. Bourbon Dynasty might have just snatched second deep out from Phantom Choice or Capanda. They were followed home by Mambo Kadzi. Ominous warning. Next in with Vakiris. Beg to differ. Ignite the sky. Then heavy set. Well back. Mo at me. Lur Patron. And fading out of it to run Stone Motherless so cute. Colin, a really nice performance there by Settlers Creek, a horse that has won first up before, has won at Belmont Park as well, but normally saves the best for Ascot, but you could tell at the top of the straight that horse is just waiting for the inside round to move in, and then off he went. Yeah, he was certainly travelling very, very well, Adam, and in running, and uh, we were pretty confident. Um, unfortunately, last time in, his form wasn't good because he had uh, a hoof trouble, and we had to put bars on him and take them off and mess around with his feet all the time. And, um, but we spelled him and he's come back and his feet are 100% now. He looked ready to go first up, didn't he? Even in the yard, he was on his toes a little bit earlier and you could just see just ready to be back out there and racing. Yeah, he's, uh, he's really impressed us this time in. He's done everything right. We're very, very happy with what he's done. You've always had a big opinion of him, haven't you? We have. We have a real big opinion of him. He's never really got to the heights that we thought he would. But hopefully this time we will. What are you expecting this campaign then? What type of races will be going or just stepping through the grades and hopefully getting to that top of level? Yeah, just go to the grades and he'll probably reach out and company. What he'll do when he gets to open company, I, I don't really know. But um, he'll, he'll, I'm sure he'll get through his grades all right, Ed. Does he still want a mile? Pardon? Still want a mile? Get out to that 1,600 metres? Oh, yeah, mile. Ideal for him. Ideal distance. Well, then, well done, mate. You uh, tipped us to that a little bit earlier uh, on the program for the people that were listening, so well done. Thanks very much, Adam. We'll grab winning jockey now, Troy Turner. And Troy, I think at the top of the straight, you're just sitting behind Ominous Warning and all you were doing was waiting for that cutaway and Glenn to move over a little bit so you could get, let your horse out because he was travelling. Yeah, he was travelling really well and um, he's been known as a bit of a bridesmaid sometimes so I was hoping he'd kick as well as he did because he's um, been showing that on the track. So. So, so the track work had given you a fair bit of confidence coming here today? Yeah, he's to the, um, Colin's changed his pattern a little bit of training him and he's um, really uh, thrived on the going and uh, he's... Um, Give me a good feel in running. It's amazing what soundness can do as well, doesn't it? Taking the bar shoes off and just getting that nice prep and coming here 100% fit. We get to see the animal we know is capable. Exactly right. He's had those two trials coming into it and he's um, wouldn't blow a candle out after that. So hopefully he can go on. Troy, a really patient ride. Congratulations, mate. No worries. Thank you.